This is a live edge board with one unique feature. It has a big crack. And this is me, a young beginner woodworker who also has a unique feature. So today, I'm going to walk you through how I made my first bow ties. I cut this chunk of maple here that I'm going to try to cut some bow ties out of. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's just see what happens. The first thing I had to do was create some sort of jig to use to accurately cut out the bow ties in a uniform fashion. I just used a scrap of plywood and cut a random angle out on the scroll saw. After running some tests with it at the table saw, I made some necessary improvements and this is what I came up with. One side runs against the table saw fence and it holds the piece of wood in the notch in the other side. It isn't the safest or the most efficient setup, but it is relatively accurate and it will work for me. From there, I started cutting out the stock to make the bow ties. I then put the bow ties in my vise and cleaned them up using a chisel. I've got all the bow ties cut out. I've got two different sizes. I have two big ones and then four of these smaller ones. So now what I need to do is figure out a arrangement that looks good on this crack. Well that wasn't particularly difficult. It's quite simple. I have the large one right where the crack is the largest, and then as the crack slowly gets smaller, I have a smaller one, and then this one is right where the crack starts. You can first see the crack there, and this one will go right here. So now I think what I need to do is trace out around each of the bow ties, and then route it out with the router, and then clean it up with the chisel, and see if they'll fit in there. And then I have three more bow ties that will just go on the other side, basically like a mirror. So I'm currently setting up the router to route out the negative space to put the bow ties in. And the bit you would usually use to do this is the straight bit. I'll put a picture of a straight bit right there. But I do not have a straight bit. The closest thing to a straight bit I have is a keyhole bit. It's very small and it's like a straight bit at the end but then it's narrower as you move up. It's kind of like a straight bit but not. I'm going to use this. It will probably just take longer, but it should get the job done. Not particularly efficient, but it'll work. Classic rhyme. The time has come to trace out the bow ties on the board. And what I'm going to use for that is a very, very sharp pencil. I actually sharpened it on my bench grinder. Um, I've seen some people use like a utility knife or like a fancy marking knife, but we're just going to try the pencil. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go. routed out the negative spaces for the bow ties and now I need to clean it up quite a lot with the chisel um, and then hopefully they fit.
In this video, I tried using my table saw push stick as a glue spreader. I would give it a 4 out of 10. Not very good. Alright, bow ties are glued in tight and they're just a little bit uh, above the surface of the board here. So what I'm going to do is cut them flush with this flush cut saw right here. But to make sure that the wood doesn't get marred up, I'm going to put some blue tape all around the bow ties just to protect this board here. Let's do it. So I finished trimming up the bow ties, so now what I need to do is take off the blue tape, sand it down, flip it over, and do it all over again. There were some small gaps because my chisel work is far from perfect, so I fixed those using some wood glue and a bit of sawdust. Bow ties on this side are done. And now I need to flip it over and do this side. But it's the exact same thing you just watched me do, so if you want to see how I did it, skip back five minutes and watch that all again. Subscribe if you feel the desire to, and I'll cue some final glory shots of the first time I ever tried bow ties. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go find some crocodiles! But it's going to be basically the exact same prop. Ah! Got him. Got him good. Dang it, that hurt. Bloody hats. <laughs> How do I only cut myself with hand tools? Ah, oh, dang it. Watch your mouth, young man. Ah, that was rash. Oh, what's that? Ah, Reggie. <laughs> yeah.